Hi everyone, I hope you are doing great. Using Formula in the conditional formatting is one of the most confusing parts of Excel. But today I'm going to show you a tip that not only it won't be confusing anymore, but also it will be so easy. In one of the examples, you will learn how to format the entire row based on the specific value in the row. For example, here I want to highlight the rows for the people who are older than the average. It's gonna be amazing. Let's get to it. We have a list like this and we want to conditionally format the yearly salary. We want to format the cells that are less than the average. For that, first you need to select your range, then click on conditional formatting and select new rule in the list. New formatting rule window opens. Select use a formula option and in this section you need to enter your formula. But remember, the formula in this section must be logical. I mean you can only enter a formula whose answer is true or false. If the answer is true, Excel formats the cell. But if the answer is false, Excel won't format the cell and leave it as it is. And you must always address the first cell of your range in the formula. I mean, you can't type equal this cell less than the average. You have to always type the first cell of your range in the formula. It is a necessary rule. So I type equal this cell less than the average. Excel automatically fix both addresses. We will find out soon that this fixing is good or bad. Now you need to set a format for the cell. I click on format. Format cells window opens. In the number tab, you can set different types of number formatting. In the font tab, you can format the font. For example, you can bold the font or italic it, or you can change the font size. In the border tab, you can set the border style. And in the fill tab, which I use a lot, you can change the color of the cell. I select the light red and click on OK and OK again. But there is a problem. Excel couldn't format the selected cells correctly. I mean, this cell is above the average, but Excel formatted this cell too. Let me show you why this error happened. First, I select another cell and click on the conditional formatting and select manage rules. The conditional formatting rules manager opens, but you can't see any rule because there is no rule in the selected cell. By default, Excel only shows the rules for the current selection. If you change it to this worksheet, you can see all the rules in the sheet. Let me double click on this rule and copy this formula. And if I paste the formula in this cell and drag it down, you can see that the format for all the cells is true. And because of that, all the cells have been formatted. I know it is a little confusing, but to resolve this confusion, I have an easy solution. First of all, I never type my formula in this section because Excel always fixes the addresses and most of the time that fixing causes problems. Instead of that, I find a blank cell and type the formula in there. For example, I select this cell and type equal this cell you can't select another cell. You have to always select the first cell of your range. is less than the average. The result is true. If I drag the formula down and double click on it, the C4 reference is correct. But I didn't want the address of the C17 to change. So I need to fix it. First, I delete this cell and double click on the first cell and highlight the C17 and press F4 to fix it. Now, if I drag the formula down and double click on them, you can see that the formulas in all the cells are correct. Now, you can copy the formula, but remember, you have to always copy the formula in the first cell. I mean, you can't copy the formula from this cell or this cell. So I double click on the first cell and copy the formula. And I select one of the formatted cells and edit the formatting. You need to delete the old formula and paste it with the new one. Now if I click on OK, you see that the formatting is done correctly. Now you can delete the guiding cells. 
Maybe you say you could easily format the cells by Excel's default conditional formatting and there was no need to type the formula. I know that, but here I'm using simple examples to show you a step by step how to use formulas for conditional formatting. And in the third example, you will learn how to format your data with the formula that it is not possible with the Excel's default conditional formatting. In this example, I want to format each item which has sold more than the average. First, let me delete the rule from the selected cells. For that, I click on conditional formatting and select the clear rule from the list. You can delete the rule from the selected cells or delete them from the entire sheet. I select the selected range and if you look at the table, you see that all the formatting is gone. So instead of typing the formula in the conditional formatting section, I first type the formula in a blank cell. In this cell, I type equal and select the first cell in the range, greater than average and press F4 to fix the average cell. Now if I drag the cell down and double click on it, you see that the C3 address transformed to C4 correctly, but we are not done yet because this time we need to drag the first cell to the right too because the formatting gonna apply in both directions. So if I drag the formula to the right and double click on it, you see that the C3 address transformed to D3 correctly. So I copy the formula in the first guiding cell and select the entire range that I want to be formatted and create a new rule with the formula and paste the formula in this section. Click on the format button. For formatting, I set a green field and in font tab, I select the bold style and dark green for the font color and click on OK. The formatting is done correctly. Let me show you what happening in the background. In this cell, we type the formatting formula for the first cell of the range. And in this cell, the formatting gonna apply on the second cell. If I drag the formula to the side cell, the formatting gonna apply to the third cell. And if I expand the formula, you see the true and false cells, which gonna format the cells in the table. In fact, these are the background of conditional formatting of your table. If you remember, we only typed the first cell formula in the conditional formatting and Excel based on your formula, expand the formula to other cells, like what we did in here. Now you can delete the guiding cells. In this example, I want to format the entire row based on the age value. I want to highlight the whole row for the person that is older than the average, but this time I delete the average value. All right, for formatting, we need guide cells. I type equal, I select the first age in the list, greater than, since we don't have the average cell, so we have to type it in the formula directly. So I type the average function and select the age range and press F4 to fix the average range. If I drag the cell down and double click on it, you see that the C3 address transform to C4 and the average range has been fixed correctly. Now if I drag the cell to the right and double click on it, there is a problem. The C3 address transformed to D3 and I don't want to format the ID number. I want to format the age. I need to fix this problem. Can you tell me what should I do? I need to fix the column C in the first cell. So let me delete this cell and edit the first cell. For fixing the C column, you need to put a dollar sign behind the C letter. Now if I drag the cell to the right, you see that the formula in this direction is correct too. Let me explain this section a little more. These three cells are helping me to write a correct formula for formatting the table in both directions. Let me drag the formula to the side cells. 
If you notice, all four cells are true. It means the age in the C3 is above the average, and the formatting gonna apply to the whole row. If I drag them down, you see false for the whole row, because the age in C4 is not above the average. If I expand the guiding cells, they will be like this. In fact, these true and false cells gonna format the table like this. I explained this to show you what's really happening in the background. But you only need these three cells to check if the formula is expanding in both directions correctly or not. Alright, now I need to copy the formula in the first cell and define a new rule. So I select the entire table and go to the conditional formatting and create a new rule with the formula. I paste the formula in here and for formatting I select a green field and press OK. Isn't it awesome? The entire row has been formatted by only the age value. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think this type of video is useful, please take a look to see if you already subscribed to the channel or not. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Alright, it was all for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.